Uh, I found out maybe I believe when he was four to five years old, we took him to a specialist and then that's when they classified that he had a lot of limitations um, as to learning, uh, limitations, disabilities as speaking, writing. It was devastating, you know. Um, back then I was married, but as a single parent now, even then, it was very hard. It was very hard for me because now I have to be my son's advocate and try and fight for him as a parent to get the best for him. I'm his advocate in many avenues. I'm his advocate um, trying to find resources for him. With Sally to say he was born in Puerto Rico, which is great, but Sally to say that there were no resources for Christian at all. So I'm disappointed in that aspect and I can understand. So that's when I had to take a leap and start a new journey, a new chapter in my life alone as a single mother with Christian. It was a very strong, long journey, you know, because it's real. I'm so sorry, because it was not easy for me as a single mom. I'm going through the things Christian went through, because he had an operation, they found a brain tumor. And, you know, thanks to great doctors and the help and resources that I had, that was fine. But he came from a zero to a hundred, and I was blessed. Because um, I'm the only one that he has. Like, I'm his mom, I have you know, brothers, but they have their own responsibilities. A Christian only depends on me and relies on me as a single mom. And thanks to these organizations, I'm lucky um, to have Christian, and I'm lucky to have, you know, you guys like Easter Seals and other researchers that I have his case manager. I can't be blessed enough. I've, you know, he from a zero to 100, I think. I am very content. I cannot say less than that. I'm very content that he, he's found, I found, and through other people and other resources, found the right organization to put Christian in. Because he needs that. As a parent, you can't give up. And I acknowledge what Christian has. I, I do. I'm not ashamed of my son. I love my son to death. Everyone can tell you that. I speak him highly. I take him to places with me so he can learn how to conduct himself. Because again, I'm not here forever. So as a parent, I want him to be with me forever. But from a zero to a hundred, Easter Seals has been a tremendous pillar in my life and in Christian's life. Because if not, I won't be able to work. Who's going to watch him for me? So I know he's safe. I know he has a strong team. There's people that are well guided, that are well trained. And while I'm at work, I'm at peace. You know, but Easter Seals and DDD and his case manager has been an amazing outlet and a positive um, part in Christian's life and my life. You know, take your son or your daughter, accept what they have, the limitations, and you know, ride it to the end. You know, find the resources, don't give up. And if that door closes and it's not right for your child, you have to move on again because there are resources out there. I'm a living proof of it as a single mom. And I am not ashamed of my son. I'm not ashamed of the program. I just can talk great, great many things about it. So I commend them, like they say in Spanish, me quito el sombrero, means I take my hat off to Easter Seals, uh, to DDD, to any other organization that has been there for my son. And as a single parent, you know, I commend everyone from the staff where he's at as well. So, you know, don't give up. You must continue because it's a long journey. It may not be easy, but you have to continue the ride.